Okay, so we're live now. Okay. A bit of a mic check here. We have some new audio equipment, so we're just starting a minute early here. Um, we're going to start our live stream at uh, 3 p.m. It's got about another minute to go. Just making sure audio is up and running. Very good. Nice and clear. Great. We had a few comments back on, on uh, uh, our reviews of the last few live streams and the audio um, gets a little stairs or there's some street uh, noise, etc. So we went out and bought this new fangled audio equipment. Check out that blue light and this mic. I'm all wired up like a pro. Um, and we're just testing it out a little bit early before our 3 p.m. live stream. If you're joining us now, we'll get started very shortly. Um, audio's good? Excellent. Okay. Um, my voice, for better or for worse, throughout the entire live stream today. Okay, so I think we're almost at 3 p.m. here. So if you guys bear with us, we are just about to begin our live stream today. Give everybody a minute to log in. Oh, Siri's trying to answer me here. Oh, there we are, three o'clock. Welcome, it's now 3 p.m. and we are live out in front of 1848 West 13th a Avenue with my new fangled audio equipment. So hopefully we'll be clear throughout this entire broadcast. I'm Marty Pospisil and thank you for joining us today. As I mentioned, we're live streaming from 1848 West 13th Avenue. This is an absolutely phenomenal home in Lower Shaughnessy, Kitsilano neighborhood for $2,250,000. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna have a look at this home shortly. I'm just standing outside of it again. We're in Lower Shaughnessy neighborhood. Just point out exactly where we are. If you just pan over to your left and look down that direction to the east, you will see in about three blocks from there, we are in the South Granville neighborhood. You've got a lot of, lot of famous eateries. You've got the breakfast table. You've got heirloom vegetarian restaurant. You've got chapters down in the corner of Broadway um, and Granville. You've got lots and lots of shopping that you can do along that South Granville neighborhood. And of course, you're only blocks away from Granville Island. If you pan over to your right, just a couple of blocks up to the west, you have Arbutus Street. And of course, on Arbutus Street, within a block south, when you hit Arbutus, you've got um, the Loblaws City Market, which has got a great array of your groceries and a deli and a bakery, etc., etc. So you've got great walkability here. You've also got the Vancouver Lawn and uh, Tennis Club, uh, just a, a block behind us here up at 16th and Burrard. So if you're a member of the Vancouver Lawn, um, that's nice and convenient. So if you're just joining us now, we are live in front of 1848 West 13th Avenue, a beautiful half duplex um, that was originally, interestingly enough, a 1926 character home that was completely rebuilt and converted into a front, back, side, side duplex in finished in the year 2000. So you've got some really great original character features in the home, yet you've got a modern built home, which you can enjoy. So why don't we go in and have a look? Follow me. So again, you've got a private landscaping gives complete privacy from your neighboring duplex. This is all part of your home here, as you see as we're walking a little bit later when we're showing the lower portion of the home. This home sits on three levels. So as you approach the entrance, just to my left, you'll see there is a gate that goes right through to the backyard. So just like a detached home, you've got your own private yard areas, you've got access into the back, and we're gonna show you an amazing two-car garage back there as well. So let's go in and have a look at this home. Follow me. So
So we're going to head up to the main floor of the home. In total, we have 2,200 square feet of living area in this home. Pretty incredible space. I'm just going to put my down here and head into the living room maybe first. You can see we've got a very nicely finished living room with a beautiful northern exposure. You can actually see the mountains on a clear day here. We've got beautiful California shutters there. We've got a nice gas fireplace. We have two original leaded glass piano windows which have been framed into the new home. We've got some more leaded glass just over the foyer there. Really, really nice finishing. And if you look up at the ceiling, you'll see a really nice original feature, which is the coffered ceiling. So you've got that sort of boxing in in the ceiling. Really cool character feature that you usually see in the early 1900s homes. So great living area. Let's go by the bear that's riding a bicycle. That's kind of neat artwork. There's some cool stuff in this home. We've got an entry foyer closet for your guests as they come in. So shoes, coats uh, can go in there. And then you enter into a nice large dining area. You can fit a giant table in here. Again, it's opening up to the entry foyer just below us. So that's kind of nice. You're going to get light streaming right through the home from the back, which is south facing right through to the front pretty well all day long because you've got windows around the west side as well. So again, um, you've got another coffered ceiling here, uh, beautiful finishing detail, big dining area, and we get into the family area and kitchen. Of course, we've got another gas fireplace. We've got a lot of fireplaces in this home. And um, this kitchen, of course, the original kitchen would have been built in 2000. Um, these particular owners have updated all the appliances, apart from the range. The range is still from 2000, a nice four burner gas uh, range. But the new owners also built this great island. So if you look at this island, um, it gives a lot of extra storage space here. You've got extra deep drawers for storage throughout. That's in the entire kitchen. But if, you're, if you like to cook, and I know because my wife loves to cook, uh, she would love all these extra drawers for your pots and uh, all of your paraphernalia that you, you would use on a daily basis cooking. I'm not going to show you all of the cabinetry, but you can see this whole kitchen um, in 2009 was resurfaced as well. So you've got refinishing in the cabinet fronts. You've got new appliances. You've got this great breakfast bar that was built. And let me show you something really cool. If you just come around the side here, I want to show you this. A little spice drawer. I love stuff like this. This is kind of cool. Double layered spice drawer using every inch of this island. Very well designed. And um, other side of the island, we've got a wine rack. So really, really functional space. Great space for a couple of you to sit down, have breakfast in the morning. Even better space to have breakfast or dinner or an evening glass of wine is out in that south facing back deck which you can see through the French doors. We're gonna have a closer look at that in a couple of minutes, and that is covered space. So you've got a lot of room here. You've got 2,200 square feet of finished area, plus you have a few other 100 square feet of an exterior storage area. We've also got a lot of storage space in the garage, which we're gonna show you later as well. Um, but I just wanna go down this way um, just quickly showing off again all that storage. You got like pantry space, um, space for all sorts of storage in that kitchen. And this is a really neat feature. Have a look at that. We've got a two piece powder room right here in the main floor. Now, of all the half duplexes that we sell, this is a feature that people love to have. They don't want to send their guests upstairs or downstairs to use the bathroom. It's nice to have that two piece on the main floor. And again, just like on the last home we sold, if you have some Oompa Loompas in the family, there's a great space for them to go play in or just to put your luggage or your Christmas decorations. Um, this is one of many, many, many storage spaces which we're going to show you. So we'll close that up. And why don't we head upstairs? Have a look upstairs. So I'll point out just before we head up, if you just pan over down that hallway, you'll see the beautiful oak floors that are through this home 
and they have been recently finished and they're in great shape. All of the main floor, the stairs and the lower level have oak floors. They've put carpet here for comfort for the upper level. We're going to go up and have a look at that. If you've just joined us, we are live at 1848 West 13th Avenue, a half duplex for a very, very good offer price at 2,250,000. Why don't we turn to the left first? We've got <clears throat> the second bedroom. Now this bedroom is south facing. So these owners converted it into, an, or are using it as an office space. Have a look, you got a nice view out to the south there. This room is gonna flood with light on a sunny day and it's a good size. So what a great space to work in. Now, this home has four bedrooms plus a large office area, which could be a fifth bedroom um, or whatever you'd like to use it as. Um, but there's lots of versatility here, especially when two of you are working from home um, during the pandemic. So have a look here. Uh, closets are lighted. You can see we've got lights in all the closets. That's kind of a neat feature. We've got a bathroom on this bedroom as well on the upper floor. Have a look through here. And you should really step inside and have a look at this bathroom. It's nice. Of course, it's a 2000 bathroom, but very, very nicely finished. Lots of light again, south facing exposure, full bathroom. You've got all the conveniences you'd like with the four piece in there. And um, I'll point out that you've got a super hot boiler in this home. If you don't know what that means, it just means that you're never going to run out of hot water. Okay. So you've got your radiant system running off of that. You've got a super hot boiler. You've got the hot water tank where it stores that hot water, keeps recirculating it. It's a great system. Um, you, all the kids and your neighbors can come over for a shower. Maybe that won't happen, but if they do, you're not going to run out of hot water. And that's kind of nice to know. Um, you've got a vaulted ceiling in here. Maybe on your way out, you just want to have a look at that um, and see it's got, the, again, that original character. When you swing around and show that ceiling fan light, it's kind of cool to be able to see that. Nice character in this home. And talking about closet space, well, there's another linen closet. We're walking through here. Here's another closet. We got double side-by-side -side closets here. I'll let you have a look at those now. Wow, look at how organized these guys are. This is great. I love these guys. Everything is in perfect order. That's what I like to see in a closet. And another closet here, all organized. Oh, lots of neat stuff that you can wear there. I won't put anything on today because we're running limited on time. Um, and then here's the master bedroom. So come in and have a look at this, you guys. And out of this window, if you look out this window in the evening time on a clear night, you can actually see the lights of downtown and Grouse Mountain. And of course, these shutters um, are adjustable for privacy. They do swing open. You got lots of versatility here with the shutters, lots of space. Look at all the furniture we have in here. We've got a small dresser here. We've got a chair. Uh, it looks like a king bed. Um, and we've got not only those two closets, we've got another closet over here. So lots of storage space. And again, every closet has lighting. That's a great feature. Great feature. And we just discovered this, which is kind of a neat feature. You got storage underneath this little sitting bench. So what a great, great additional storage to have in the bedroom. So we've got northern exposure, western exposure, so you're going to get all the afternoon light pouring in here. Um, again, every window is shuttered. And we've got the master bathroom. So the master bathroom um, is quite nice. One thing I'd really like to show you in the master bathroom um, when you pop in here, if you're able to um, have a look at this, is inside this shower let's not break any glass doors here i'll let you just go behind me and have a look in there that is a two-person shower so i'm going to climb in there and just show how it works because i have this great mic normally i would have lost you 
And I know it sounds like I'm in a tunnel, but I'm actually in the enclosed shower. And this is very exciting because, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting laughed at. I've got one, two, three, four, five heads. On the other side, I have a sixth head. I just want to turn all these on right now, but I'm not because then we'll get a million views and that may not be a good thing. So, um, but really cool, that design shower. Um, if you're into the double shower thing, and even if you're in there showering on your own, why not have six heads hitting you all at once? What a great feature. And in behind you, there's a skylight, so you're getting some natural light pouring into that bathroom. So that's the upper floor of this half duplex at 1848 West 13th Avenue for $2,250,000. Great price. Uh, remember, it was a 1926 character home that was completely rebuilt and finished in the year 2000. So you're getting that original character features, but you're getting a new modern home um, that was recently done and substantially done. So we've seen the main floor. We've seen kitchen and the two-piece bathroom upstairs we have the two bathrooms two bedrooms and now we're gonna go to where I think is one of the best features in the home and that is the lower level because how many lower levels are this functional have a look at this the hardwood flooring continues to the last step and then we've got oak engineered flooring on concrete that again is finished to match those stairs and, and oak throughout the main floor really really nice flooring i'm also going to mention before i forget that upstairs on the main floor and the top floor is a two inch slab of concrete below the hardwood on the main floor and below the carpet in the top floor so you don't get any creaking squeaking or any noise transferring between levels so if you've got some teenage kids, hey, put them down here. You're not going to hear them upstairs. It's great. Okay. So follow me. We are now in the lower level of 1848 West 13th. And um, this is an office space. Now look at the size of this. Um, we have a professional who owns the home. He does a lot of his work here um, in this particular office. His wife has the other office upstairs. Um, you've got lots of room for a couple to work from home or the kids from work for, to work from home for that matter. And lots of space. Hey, another gas fireplace. Look at that. And look at the ceiling height here. I am just about six feet tall. Used to be 6'1", but I think I shrunk a little bit in the last few years. Um, and you've got at least a couple feet above me. So I would say these are eight, eight and a half foot ceilings in the lower level. That's one of the nice features of having the rebuild um, in 2000. Now, not only do you have this great office in the lower level, and again, you are ground level. So let's have a look at this. You've also got a deck area that you can use as part of your office so hey you want some fresh air when you're working open these doors or come out here have a little espresso everybody loves espresso read your paper answer your phone and you'll notice there's a little stairway coming from the main entry down to this patio area if you run a business where you have the odd visitor you need to have a meeting they can enter your office without going through the main part of the home that's a really neat feature now, if you follow me, I'm just going to show you some additional storage as if there wasn't enough in the common utility area. So they've got this, you know, with all the Christmas boxes, coolers and so forth. This is common space, but used only by this owner because there's an equivalent space on the other side that's common used by the other owner. So you've got a giant storage area here as part of your unit. Step back onto the deck and we'll close these beautiful French doors that go onto your office area. And also, I think I pointed it out when I came in, but look at the landscaping. Look at the privacy you have from the front street. You could be sitting out there 
in your swim trunks for all anyone cares, answering the phone and doing some work and you've got complete privacy and complete entry um, into your home from the street, which is really nice to have in a duplex. For all intents and purposes, this home feels like a detached home. It really, really does. And you're certainly getting the square footage and you're certainly getting tremendous value in that regard at 2,250,000. Another storage closet. Now at the back of that, look, they put a wine rack there. You can store some wine racks, patio furniture. There is the, um, uh, lots and lots of storage for you to take advantage of here. And then just continuing on in the lower floor, we have one of the bedrooms down here converted into a gym. So here's some very good looking fit people working out in the gym that are going to show you how to properly exercise. They've got the bands around your knees. I hate doing that when I get pretty tired doing that. Um, now, um, normally I wouldn't lift anything this size, but what a great place to work out. And who knows um, when our gyms are gonna open up again. So why not take advantage of all these extra rooms and build a gym? They fit a universal in here. So you got lots of space lots of space to take advantage of. Um, so I won't launch into my full workout. It's a great map of uh, Whistler Blackcomb. And you can see all your workout equipment um, is here. And we have actually uh, have some really interesting, great stuff in here that uh, you can use for your workouts, not included in the sale of the home. That actually reminds me of a few things I've seen on TV recently. Um, so great, great space. This is fully carpeted underneath this foamy four floor. Um, they've just put it in here for the gym, but you do have great carpeting underneath that. So that's, that bedroom here has been used obviously as a gym. Um, and then if you have a look here, you've got washer dryers. So you got a great full set and pan around inside that closet. You'll see it's actually the size of a small laundry room. Fantastic space, fantastic space to have. So you've got lots and lots of space to do your laundry, fold your laundry. Another thing that this owner has done, I really like this, he's put in solid core doors here. So you could be doing a load of laundry and working in your office or doing some meditation in your gym. And guess what? You're not gonna hear it. It's nice and quiet. So lots of these features. I can go on and on with the features. Look at the crown molding in the ceiling. That is throughout the home. You'll see that earlier upstairs. You'll see it in the top floor. Crown molding. You've got baseboard. Really, really nicely finished. Another closet. Another closet. I haven't counted the closets in this home, but there are many. So you're not going to run out of storage. And then here is the second bedroom in the lower floor. Now remember the top floor um, we had two bedrooms and this lower floor, we've got the gym, which is a bedroom and this one's a bedroom and you've got that office in the front. So there's really three rooms down here that you could use in a variety of ways for the parents or a guest room, a gym, an office or a kid's room. Maybe you've got a teenager in the family. That room in the front is great. Teenager can come and go as they want out of their own entrance. Um, and again, you've got that concrete between each floor so you've got great sound insulation and again look at the ceiling height it's great lots of light coming in here um, lots of bedrooms lots of closets there's another four-piece bathroom there you can see have a look at that you've got your tub um, your your um, sink toilet shower you've got everything in there And if you've just joined us a little late, we're at 1848 West 13th Avenue, showing this beautiful half duplex for $2,250,000. Great value, original 1926 character home that was converted and finished in the year 2000 into um, a beautiful modern home while keeping a lot of the original character. So we're just gonna grab our shoes here because I wanna show you the outside just before the sun goes down and the back deck and the backyard. So we'll head back up to the main floor. 
which is getting nice and toasty with that fireplace. That's definitely a heat elator that we got going there. Walking through the dining area, another fireplace going. Got to make sure we turn all these off. <laughs> uh, it's getting pretty nice and warm in here. <clears throat> and of course, you got the radiant heat. So now we're heading off onto the south facing back deck. So check this out. You've got this beautiful covered back deck area. It's going to make sure the wine airs a little bit before we get back here. Um, that my clients say they spend almost every evening out here all year round enjoying the space. Um, where even if it's raining, you can sit out here and enjoy the evening, um, watch the sun go down, uh, and you've got lots of space even for um, your immediate family to come and join you here, or post pandemic, your guests. Again, the deck extends into an covered area um, and you go down into or yard area which is again very low maintenance you can do a pan through here and uh, and see this is this is really neat you'll see again shows the finishing here that cover goes into this and collects down into that pot so you don't get that dripping. a thousand features like got some really really nice here that you're looking on to from the patio this favorite spaces if anyone asks for anything that's really important besides number of bedrooms square footage location etc it's space so what these guys have done is they with permit have rebuilt the garage to give a two car covered garage let's have a look at that if you want Lots of park, or that matter, you get the lots check out this garage. So, we've got all of our toys here, we've even got a rowing machine in our garage, um, and you've got a lot of space. You'll see in the floor plans online, we've got all the dimensions of fully at your discretion and so use for your home. Great, this is better than many people have in, a, in their detached home. And again, if you just pan up, you'll see in the rafters, you've got even more space um, to put your skis and extra storage. So if you're talking about somebody who needs storage, this is just a phenomenal home um, um, for that need. You've got another exit here. You've also got a, a 240 volt outlet here so you can plug in your EV charger. So if you have an electric vehicle, all the work has been done, you just plug your unit here, you're ready to go. So bring your Tesla, this home's ready for you. And that is the two car garage. Um, I, I love this space, really, really nice improvement these owners did. Um, and that is 1848 West 13th Avenue, a beautiful, beautiful home um, ready for you to come and have a look at we're going to be showing it um, special on showings only over this weekend we're going to be here um, tomorrow Friday um, we're making private showings from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday we're going to be here from 12 to 2 30 and then on Sunday we're going to be here from 12 uh, to 4 again and a come home. Um, we do have available. Can I ask you to give a call and we'll book that? I wanted to point out how great the space is here in the back at the end of the day or even the morning for that matter to read your financial post, get up to date on all your investments, and uh, enjoy your new home. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Marty Pospisil, signing off. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one.